I've uh, just obviously finished the spell with Boston and the last season after leaving Bradford Park Avenue, which I were there for two and a half seasons. Um, so yeah, obviously I'm familiar with this club and uh, previous to that I uh, I was in football league with a few different clubs which has taken me pretty much around the country. Um, started off in Barnsley, grew up in Barnsley. Um, after that left for, to uh, left for York sorry, and then uh, had a year there and then two and a half years down on the south coast at Torquay which was obviously a big move uh, but kind of got me climbing that pyramid again. Um, after there, left for Shrewsbury, um, and then then had a successful period there and moved on to Preston. Um, after Preston, Notts County, um, and then Halifax for a brief spell, and then Bradford. So yeah, um, had plenty of clubs. Well travelled. Yeah, very well travelled. <laughs> um, yeah, and obviously experienced quite a lot in the game, and but still think um, I've got quite a bit to offer. Um, basically, I moved to Boston um, and I had another year left and, and kind of this last three months, end of the season, um, decided that it, it went a bit too much travelling and uh, not, not something I wanted at the age of Matt. Um, so I chatted to the wife and she, she full, fully agreed. Um, so I said, well, I'll try and get out of my contract at Boston. Hopefully they'll understand what she did and I'm really thankful for that. Um, and said I'd look at things closer and as it happened um, Mark followed me on Twitter um, so curiously I followed him back and um, then he, he messaged me um, what were my plans um, so yeah obviously uh, I said well I'm not going here in a minute and uh, he says well I'd be interested if you are I said oh well, yeah let's, um, let's have a chat so uh, within a couple of days we kind of had a chat a real good chat and really liked what he had to say um, made me an offer and, uh, and I accepted it. Um, well, I'd like them to make their own opinion of, <laughs> of me, to be honest. Um, I don't know if that's a good one, but uh, yeah, no, I like to get on the ball, I like to pass it, um, I'm quite vocal, so I like to organise and, uh, and try and use my experience now, I'm a bit older, especially um, with younger players or any, anybody within the team, if I can help, I help that team, I'll, I'll try my best to do that. Um, recent seasons I've pretty much played um, a holding, more of a holding role in midfield. Um, as I when I was younger I used to kind of be not as disciplined so kind of had a more of an attacking role but um, more of a, a deep lying midfield role now. Um, trying to make things happen, get on the ball, get the, get the ball from the back um, and play them probing forward passes to get other people involved. Um, yeah, but I mean, if there's an opportunity to break forward and get in the box, then I do like to score the odd goal, but I've not managed to score that many in like pre re recent seasons. So, uh, yeah, no, hopefully I can add a few more goals than I've done in recent seasons um, if them opportunities do arise. But yeah, no, primarily deep lying and uh, getting on the ball, making things happen. Okay. Um, apart from playing against a lot of them, um, Quite a number of times, um, not too much about him. Obviously, Skipper John has been here quite a long time. He's um, probably a standout figure. Um, and then there's other lads that I've played with that have, have been here and always spoke really highly of the club. Um, them being Ben McKenna recently at Bradford, um, Connor Hughes played at Halifax with him and still uh, briefly keep in touch with him. And same with uh, Sam Walker, who's moved on to Stockport and uh, done great things there. But yeah, no, they've always spoke really highly of the club. So uh, yeah, no. Uh, no hesitations.